This is a poem that I wrote which reflects on the amazing experience of looking up at the stars on a clear night when you're miles away from the city lights. Nothing could be quite compared to gazing up at the sky, lying back on a clear calm night and looking up on high. It saddens me to stop and think many never take the chance to escape the glaring city lights and to have themselves a glance of all of heaven's glories, the myriad shining globes that ever float there shining in their boundless dark abode. City dweller that I am, the lights entrap me too, and when I look up at the stars I see just precious few. On those occasions far too rare, when I can escape the lights, thousands of shining dots appear, all stars just shining bright. Stargazing memories linger when I was far from the city light. Like on safari in Kenya, it was an amazing sight. A moonless sky, no sign of cloud, a hundred miles from town. The Milky Way, the Southern Cross, far too many stars to count. Another time far off the coast, at anchor in a boat, in an inlet off New Zealand, on a, off an island that was remote. The sea was fully mirror flat, again there was no moon. The stars so bright reflected, such a tranquil, calm lagoon. The Southern Cross sh stood out so clear, the planets too shone bright. While shooting stars zigzagged across, it made a memorable night. More recently in Cornwall, we stayed far out of the town, each evening waiting patiently for the sunlight to die down. There was no moon to light the sky, no clouds to help obscure. The myriad stars that greeted us, we laid back and gazed in awe. For a most romantic moment, try staring up at the sky, while lying in a hot tub, watching satellites glide by. At times I stop and wonder, how colossal is the sky, and yet how small our planet is, a truth we can't deny. Do you wonder as you gaze above, at all those twinkling lights, that millions of empty miles away, someone else has a similar sight? I'm sure that we are not alone, in these dark skies full of light. It would defy all logic, and I'm sure that can't be right. When dreaming time comes to an end, and reality hits once more, I'm back here in the city, and not on some distant shore. The stars are such a wonder, a sight not to be missed. Teach your children to look up at them, and they will be surely blessed. Show them Venus, Orion's belt, show them the plough, and show them more. Show them the glorious worlds above, and they'll beg you to learn more. Nothing can be quite compared to gazing up at the sky, lying back on a clear calm night and looking up on high.